Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, hello. We're here again for a TV show that I love and hate. I'm going to be talking about Heroes. Now, Heroes came out in 2006, ran till 2010. Four seasons. There was a web series, I believe, involved. It was created by Tim Kring. It has some great actresses and actors in it. The first season of Heroes, I would probably debate, is the best season of its genre, of its type. Season one is close to perfection in a superhero genre. It is the birth of a new age. It is ordinary people getting abilities and powers. And in my opinion, is a must-see, fantastic first season. How they are able to use narration, flashbacks, building of the story, connecting the pieces of the puzzle is outstanding maybe the best i've ever seen now the actors and actresses that are in the first season are almost all amazing however as i talk about the other seasons it is not them or i don't believe it's their fault where i'll go with this however i will say that the first season wraps up it is amazing it is dramatic and is every gamut of emotions done in a realistic way. And then the strike happens. Uh, there was a TV strike for season two. They had to cut out a whole section of the storyline. I think they lowered the number of episodes. And it still was good. I really like season two. I have no major issues with it. Maybe it has a little bit of a um, uh, edit type jarring uh, situation, but not enough to ruin it. And the first season is so damn good. You just go along with it. Okay, strike happened. They had to re redo everything. Fine. So the problem for me arrives in season three. I don't go into spoilers and major plot reveals in these. My thinking is eventually if I get feedback and enough people, I'll go in deeper. I've explained this on some of them. But without getting into too much detail about it, season three starts off okay. You're a little bit um, maybe disappointed in lack of a better word. But what starts to happen is the popularity of season one's villain is overused. The actor is great. The performance was outstanding. But in season two, you saw hints of the legacy of this villain, and they just never let it go. It just keeps coming back. It gets ridiculous. Season 3 had some good premises, but it didn't work out. I don't know if you want to give it credit for, you know, coming off near perfection. Fine. But I would say there's a writing shift. There's a tone shift. There's a budget shift. And, and Heroes never really went overboard on the budget in special effects. They always were wise in keeping things to a minimum. Or at least when they showed something... It looked fantastic, but it wasn't overused. The fourth season, again, you are beating a dead horse. It is getting ridiculous. The stories, because you're keeping things connected in that way, just don't work. Maybe it's the writing shift and the uh, showrunner shift that happened in certain parts of this uh a journey for the show. So I'm looking at two seasons that I love, two seasons that I hate. 
Now it came back and there was a continuation. I was not dis- super disappointed in it, but I wasn't happy with it. So I'm going to give that somewhat of a mixed uh, neutral feeling as uh, it didn't excite me too much. And as I'm watching it, I could see where um, I would have just went different way. Maybe they're going for a new breed of uh, heroes and that's fine. But I didn't like the decisions they made. It looked a little cheap in my opinion, like it wasn't dedicated to it. Uh, The difference I would compare it to is uh, recently, well, maybe not recent, recent, but X-Files came back and they did like short seasons or something and they looked amazing. They looked fantastic. When Heroes came back for its season five, I don't know if they call it season five, they, it just didn't feel like they put the backing behind it, the effort into it. So, it's a mixed bag for me. There's some things I enjoy because some of the actors is just good. And no matter how you write them bad, they just perform well. It's a joy to see, but a disappointment at the same time. You got some great actors and actresses, like I said, going from the first season and they continue. It's fun to see, but disappointing in that the storylines don't lead to where you want them to go. And even though I could try to be you know, giving in certain circumstances, it didn't, it didn't wrap up well for me. It just never felt like, uh, like Battlestar Galactica, four seasons. They wanted to write it and end it. They did. You want to debate the last episode and the decisions they made? Fine. But four seasons, solid, amazing. One of the best shows ever. I wish I could say that about Heroes. But you watch that first season, you're going to fall in love with the characters. You're going to fall in love with the story, the the theme, the heart of the uh, the show. It carries over to season two and then just loses its steam. But wow, what a trip. It's just so amazing to watch the first season. I watch it over and over with the second season. And try as I might, getting through the third and fourth season is painful and when you've got things to do and viruses to fight, you know, constantly wash your feet all the time. Putting these on as bin watches, I just stop at season two. Uh, I'll leave the first season on, and it's just amazing. Great storytelling. The heart of the show is there and really moves you in the ways that you're supposed to, and it just peters out. Third season becomes a little ridiculous. Never really gains its footing again. And, you know, this happens with shows. But this show could have been going right now. It could have been the foundation for a uh, its own universe that would have really got the um, attention it deserved. And at the time it got awards, it was highest ratings. You can look on the sites and Wikipedia and stuff, and you'll see how loud it and uh, critical acclaim the show got. And I don't know, after the strike, like I said, I'd have to do a deeper dive if I ever get feedback on it. But, man, just so disappointing. I'd love to put this show in my own category in my head of the best shows ever, but it just doesn't work. Battlestar Galactica, fine. Uh, X-Files, Buffy... They have the moments where you'll debate if the show was good, but never a whole season that just disappoints. And even when you try to look critically at it, it just doesn't work. But you like the first season if you like the premise of a world without heroes that all of a sudden um, changes literally almost overnight. It's an eclipse, technically. That's the show's theme. It's got such humor, such heart. There's a little bit of darkness. It's not too overboard. And man, what a ride. First season. Fucking amazing. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Second season, really good. Third, fourth. Just don't work for me. Watch Heroes for yourself, though. Give it a shot. 
watch the first season. You can watch the first couple of episodes, and with the narration and the way they tell the story, I think most people are hooked. Until next time, everybody, stay healthy. I'll talk to you all later.